welcome back to the channel on this video i'm going to be riding the ride one up cafe cruiser as you see it right there and before i hop on and go for a ride i want to talk today about falling off your e-bike and this happens a fair bit uh, i've fallen once off an e-bike and i'll tell you that story when i go on the bike for a ride but um it is a an issue that some folks have and we don't want to fall off our bike and so I was going to point out a couple of things about falling off your e-bike and I think uh, first of all one of the issues that I see with people uh, and their e-bikes now this is up to you to decide how you want to set your seat the seat on this bike right now is all the way down I'm five foot nine I could have it up just a little bit which I'm going to put it up just a bit. I just wanted to show you all the way down. So there it is up, oh, probably two inches there. So let me get on and see where I'm at with my feet. Okay, so my feet are just touching the ground flat. Just, I mean, they're stretched, but down. But there they are, uh, flat on the ground. And so I think this is the safest way to go. Um, I know when you ride and you pedal, you want to be able to extend your legs, but uh, it's kind of a take your pick. Do you want to extend your legs for pedaling or do you want to have the feet flat on the ground when you come to a stop? Because I think that's why people are falling uh, is because they don't have a control of their bike uh, when the seat's up too high. But it may not be everyone, but I think I see that with some people anyway. And I think uh, another thing to do would be I would recommend for anyone that has any issue at all with possibilities of falling off their bike to get a step uh, through. This is a step over and the step through would give you a little more. Sometimes the bar is completely gone here and sometimes it's halfway down. So and that will give you a lot more um, ability to be able to um, if you're coming to a stop because slow speed or stop is when you generally will fall so if you're coming to a stop you can hold the brake on uh, i usually hold both brakes i usually work with both brakes at the same time and then just come forward off of your seat and then get off that's uh, i would say the best way to do it but uh let's go for a ride now and talk a little bit more uh, more about falling off your e-bike and I'll tell you my experience. Uh, I had one fall off my e-bike. So here we go. I'm riding the Cafe Cruiser here in... I'm in pedal assist uh, three. And I'm in gear eight. So nobody wants to get hurt, as I say, on an e-bike or any bike. And for me, I know... I feel most comfortable uh, with my feet flat on the ground pretty much and yeah maybe my legs aren't quite extending as far as you might want but it's for the sake of a couple of inches or so I think I can deal with that my problem is I want control when I'm coming to a stop I'm not at the point um, where I'm in that situation where I have trouble balancing or anything like that. But if anybody does, then even more, I recommend putting your feet flat. The other option would be to uh, try a trike because uh, then you won't have that issue with coming to a stop and having to balance your bike. But I know as we get older, you know, our balance becomes uh, a problem and we don't want to be falling, but we also want to still enjoy our bikes. So I'm going to tell you my experience in falling. So back, not the past winter, but the one before that, I think it was, it was either one winter ago or two I can't remember exactly but 
It might have been a couple of years ago, actually. It was before I started my YouTube channel. So yeah, because the YouTube channel isn't two years old till July 4th. So it doesn't matter though. But anyway, the one time I had an issue and fell off my bike was just coming out of my driveway. So it was in the winter and there was no snow or ice that I knew of on the road, right? And I'm leaving to go to work on my bike. It was the Rad Rover. It was the bike I should mention, the bike I was on. And I was leaving at about 5 o'clock in the morning. And my driveway has a slight, a slight uh, slope down. It's about one, it's only one car length and two cars wide. And I was coming out of the driveway and turning left onto the road when the rear end of the bike just slid out from under me. And um, of course I went, the bike went skidding along uh, the road there and I uh, was completely off the bike, um, fell off the bike. And um, thank goodness that there was no cars on the road um at that hour or somebody coming by you know um because here i am laying on the on the road for a minute and the bike there also on the road and so that would have been not a good situation but anyway so what happened was there was black ice and once i was turning the bike left from the driveway onto the road and like I said, it's a little bit of a slope. So it gets a little momentum even without me uh, pedaling, right? You just coast and you're going. So that's what happened. And I um, had my one and only spill. I think my knee hurt a little bit. And that was basically it that I can remember. But it went away pretty quick. It didn't, it wasn't enough to have any problem. I just kind of picked myself back up, got my bike, checked the bike to make sure it was good and not damaged in any way and then i also uh, made sure i was fine and then off i went but i mean that could have been a lot more serious like i say especially if a car would have been coming and uh, thank goodness that there wasn't uh, any traffic but uh anyway so we want to be careful we want to enjoy our bikes we don't want to fall and i think like i mentioned earlier i think the falls happen a lot when we're coming to a stop or when we're going at a very low speed because we get doing the old wobbly, you know, because we don't have enough speed going and we're coming to a stop and we're trying to balance our bike. So I want to bring this around to one more thing here and that's stop signs, which I'm coming up to right now. Uh, so in Oregon here, I mentioned this on previous videos and i can leave a link in the description for the latest uh, video i did on this just recently on stopping at stop signs and now i'm going to completely stop i usually do anyway now but uh there is a law here in oregon where you can do the rolling stop treat the uh, stop sign is treated as a yield sign for bicycles and e-bikes e are included as part of the bicycle family so you don't have to come to a complete stop at stop signs unless you have to because there's somebody coming or a pedestrian or whatever but i think that law as we ride into a pretty stiff wind here i think that law is very good because you don't have to come to a complete stop and have to worry about your bike balancing right you can just slow down to a speed you know uh say let's just say five miles per hour and you can just uh make sure nobody's coming in and proceed if you've got to stop then you gotta make sure you have your bike under control uh with yourself and um, come to the stop so uh that's why i think the uh yield at stop signs some of them or a busy uh, area, busy road, where you always know there's gonna be traffic if you're familiar with your area. You know, you know what roads have more traffic than, than others. Like I'm in a residential area right now, 
and very little traffic but I stop anyway um, but uh, like I say I've got my feet just on the ground there with the seat up two inches on the ride one up cafe cruiser so I just wanted to point out a few things like that and let's all be safe and enjoy our bikes as we go through the spring here of 2024 and head for summer if you uh, want to comment on this video go ahead and leave a comment in the comments below and uh, let me know your experiences with your e-bike have you fallen before or have you maybe perhaps you've uh, fallen multiple times um, do you know what caused you to fall and maybe share that with us and maybe you have some tips uh, on preventing a fall go ahead and leave those as well in the comments below so that's going to do it for this video if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you would like to subscribe and support the channel please do so and just hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for supporting us and if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified and once again leave a comment if you would like to comment on this or any other video in the comments below and thank you for joining me on this video and until next time keep your wheels on the road take care